get that coffee in you. Are we ready? I think we are, Trevor. As ready as ever. Three, two, one. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode here on Above Average. If you're new to the channel, feel free to leave a like, drop a comment down below, and maybe even subscribe. Uh, my name is Trevor, and uh, we, we got to. This is very controversial. We're talking about something very controversial. Depends who you ask. But Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, these guys, uh, two of the best players in the whole world at hockey. And the, these guys are about to get paid. As we all know, Austin Matthews, he signs uh, 13. What was that? Four, four year, $13.2 million deal, uh, making him the highest paid player in NHL history. But these two, this guy right here, well, you can see his jersey right there, Connor McDavid, they might have something to say about that. As we all know, Leon Dreisaitl has continued, both Leon Dreisaitl and Connor McDavid have continued to increase their points ever since uh, they've been drafted, have, have gone up and gone up and gone up. And uh, Leon Dreisaitl, this is his second last season, uh, you know, uh, under contract with his current eight year, um, $8.5 million contract, I believe is what it was. Yeah, eight years, total value, $68 million. And at the time, $8.5 million. I remember a lot of people saying, this is crazy, Peter Torelli, what are you doing? Well, you look at it now, that was the only saving grace that Peter Torelli did for the Oilers was signing Leon for, you know, an unbelievable, unbelievable contract. It really is, $8.5 million. Um, to put in comparison, players that are, you know, making more than him, uh, there's a lot. Artemi Panarin, Eric Carlson, Tyler Sagan, Jonathan Huberto, right? Like this, this is crazy. Uh, and are they putting up the numbers Leon's putting up? Not even, not even a little bit close. Uh, you just look at the, the numbers he put up last season, 128 points, 52 goals and 76 assists. The season before that, 55 goals, 55 apples for 110 points. This guy has 400 point seasons under his belt, 84 points in 56 games in the shortened season. That would have been another 100 point season it's crazy leon dreisaitl has continued to increase both his his goals his his, his assists his points just in general it's um it's insane you got one of the best players in the world and um he's, he's gonna get paid so what what's the number could it be could it be you know 11 million could it be you know 10 million does he get just a little bit of an increase well I hate to say it, Oilers fans. It's scary and it sucks to say it, but Leon could make, could very well uh, make more than Matthews, and that sucks. And if he does do that, I don't really know what's. Um, it's not a good look. It's not. It's. It's not. You know. Obviously, he deserves all the money in the world. He's one of the best players in the world. But um, as far as you know, team. You know, you're not going to win a team if you're. Oh, God damn it! I keep on doing that. Um, you're not going to win if you have two players and you're paying them just under 30 million. I mean, it just not with the cap right now. You know, if the if the salary cap, if COVID never happened, you know, the, the salary cap would have continued to go up. So yeah, maybe, maybe it's at, if COVID doesn't happen, maybe the salary caps, you know, close to like 95 million, but it's, it's not near there. So um, it sucks to say, but as far as the points go, I mean, Leon Dreisaitl's numbers are kind of way, you know, they're they're definitely a lot better than Austin Matthews. Um, he's way more consistent. He plays way more. I mean, in the last two seasons, he lost, or in the last three seasons, he's missed four games, right? He's He's been a very consistent player. Uh, the German boy, he, he, never, he never shuts down. He never breaks down, right? He's always go, go, go. Um, but I mean, at the same time, man, you, you want to keep this guy. So it's definitely, it's definitely a tough, um, you know, what, what do they do? Uh, and I'm definitely, I'm so happy. I don't have to make that decision because it's a tricky one, right? Uh, if he demands 13 mil, which he could very well, what does that mean for Connor McDavid as well? Obviously you still got two years left, uh, for Leon Dreisaitl's current contract, where she's getting 8.5 mil. But you look at the players that are, you know, it's it's continuing to go like this. He's got McKinnon-like numbers. He's got, you know, uh, Austin Matthews. Like, he's, he's one of those game-breaker, you know, kind of players. So, I mean, he really should be getting paid $13 million. But the question is, can the Oilers afford that? I don't know. Not only that, uh, you know, Connor McDavid. Uh, you ever heard of him? Probably. This guy is the best player in the entire world who currently makes $12.5 million for the next three seasons it's only three seasons left oh my god yeah Connor mcdavid signs an eight-year hundred million dollar contract uh, back in 2017 it was july 5th to be exact and um it was the highest paid contract for i think what the first five years five years straight but then you know nate dog nathan mckinnon had to one-up him by how much you asked just a hundred thousand bucks so 
um, you know, you look at what Austin Matthews got paid and yeah, he got paid. He's getting paid $13.2 million for the next four seasons. Well, what could make David demand? I mean, he could, uh, man, make David, if he really wanted to, obviously he's, he's, he's hundred, he's made a hundred million dollars. You know, that's, that's crazy. Like he's, he's comfortable. I, uh, you, you gotta imagine he's living comfortably. So, so if I'm Connor, I don't know what I'm telling Leo, you know, you know maybe, maybe I'm like, Hey, you know, I, I, I took a pretty high contract for the first one. So maybe I'll let you have the big one this time. And maybe I'll sign at 10 million. If he, if he really wants, you know, the, the team to win. Um, but it, it's just tough. You can't have two players making North of 13 million with where the salary cap is right now. You can't like it. It's, it's going to be so hard to win. Um, unless you have every other player on the team taking team friendly deals uh, which is very unlikely um, as we've seen like no no player is going to do that uh, you know Evan Bouchard 3.9 million he kind of he, he could have taken a team friendly deal and did he not really you know he could have gone 3 million but uh, to each their own right like everyone wants to get paid so uh, it's going to be interesting to see with the numbers McDavid and Drysaddle are both putting up they could very well um, I mean, Leon Dreisaitl could very well ask for over $13 million, which is crazy. And Connor McDavid, I mean, he could ask for, you know, $16 million. He really could. $17 million. But, like I said, $17 million for Connor, $13 million for Leon, $30 million in just two players. You can't win a championship like that. And if that were to be the case, you know, uh, good riddance. Ah, uh, no, no. I, I don't want to say that. But... Um, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. It's one of those things. Like what, what do you do? It's, um, it's a decision. I'm so happy. I don't have to make Kenny Holland. Uh, if he's going to be here, you know, there's a lot of speculation saying this is his last season as uh, the Oilers GM. If that is the case. Uh, you know, he definitely, then the, the next GM for the job, he's got, uh, he's got a lot of work to do and, uh, to, to keep both those guys. That's going to be, that's going to be important. It's going to be great. You know, obviously you want the two best players in the world, but, um, can you, can you do it? I don't know. So that's pretty well all I got for this video, guys. I kind of just wanted to break down the numbers. Uh, yeah, these guys very well could demand more than Austin Matthews. Um, you look, goals, goals, goals. That's what uh, that's what you pay for these days. Austin Matthews, obviously, he does it just as good, probably better than anyone. Obviously, he had a little off year last year, but he's still probably the best goal scorer in the world and he's getting paid 13 point but this guy he's only made uh, he's only got cracked 100 points once in his career when you've got mcdavid who's done it every single year except two times uh so what six times he's a six time 100 point player and then uh leon dreisaitl who could have done it you know obviously in the shortened season year but he didn't and 153 points just just grasp that 153 points 12.5 million dollars okay and then you got austin matthews who last season had 80 points it was it was roughly right around i think it was 87 points that's close to 70 point difference from uh, mcdavid and matthews if if the, there was no salary cap he could for sure sign a 20 million 25 million dollar contract that's where he is he's up here you can't even see my arm and then Matthews and like Dreisaitl and McKinnon are all right here, okay? So it's crazy. Uh, Oilers fans, what do you think? What do you think they'll sign? Are they going to sign long-term? Are they going to take? Is, is McDavid going to sign like maybe a two-year deal? A two-year, uh, $5 million contract? I don't know. Beans, like maybe he wants to win that bad. I don't know, man. It's it's going to be crazy to see what happens. But all I know is if you're an Oilers fan, which I am, it's, uh, it's not fun times here and... Uh, it's going to be crazy to see what happens in the next few years. So drop a comment down below uh, if you're new to the channel. As always, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And uh, don't be average when you can be above average. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.